Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I wanted to talk about the books we have read this semester. So I'm filming this at the start of December, so we still have a little bit more time, but this is what we've covered since we officially started our homeschool in August. Um, I have a fourth grader who we are homeschooling. So this is what we've covered outside of our textbooks. So we have textbook type stuff that we, I mean, they're still resource books, but um, books that we're using for more of our fact-based information um, for science and history. Um, and these are the more literature-based books that we have read so far and kind of how they went. So first of all, we read Tornado. Um, we started our um, semester talking about weather. Um, this book is uh, big letters, um, not a lot on each page. It's very small. So it was a nice way to start. I had my learner do more independent reading this year, um, reading either silently to themselves or reading out loud with me in the room as we're working towards building that independence. So started with um, you know a nice easy book that didn't look too intimidating. The kid enjoyed it. It went along with our um, moving beyond the page curriculum on weather, um, which is for ages like seven through nine. It was left over from last semester or last year, our curriculum for language arts. So we started off with that. Um, we also read um, a few books here that um, I think most of these came from Brave Writer um, contents where we were um, uh, pulling just a section from the, that was on language arts for a specific book from Brave Writer curriculum. So that was something new that we've done this year. Um, so we had Encyclopedia Brown, uh, Boy Detective. Um, these were great. These were a good, a big hit. Um, again, it's got some little pictures. Um, the, re the words aren't too small, lots of conversation. And the way that Encyclopedia Brown is structured is that each each chapter is a few pages and it's a, a mystery case, right? So you, it gives you the information and then it asks you the question at the end. And then we would sit and we would talk and we would try and solve it. And then we'd flip to the end to see if we had solved it correctly. So that was nice because each chapter kind of has its own reward. Again, not very thick, nice way to start off. Um, uh, this year for um, language arts, what I have been doing is letting my learner pick which book. So I offer a choice of like four or five books. Um, and then I have, you know, curriculum to support that. Um, but they get to choose the book and then we read the book that they are interested in out of those choices. So the next choice was Mr. Popper's Penguins. Again, that was a fun book. Um, the reading, a uh, little bit um, smaller writing, a little bit more writing per page, but still some pictures in there. Um, it's a nice little story. Uh, it's got penguins uh, that like perform in a circus type act. So um, it was fun. And um, my kid was interested in it. So that was nice. Um, not too hard, but we did take some turns reading back and forth, a little bit thicker book there. Um, the next one my learner picked, I was actually a bit surprised because of how thick it is. Um, this is The Trumpet of the Swan. Um, and this one is, uh, you know, it still has some pictures. Um, the writing is a little bit more stylized. Um, and uh, it's definitely a thicker book, um, but it's the story of a swan who can't honk. So he gets a trumpet and um, all of the adventures that then uh, proceed, follow, follow from that. Um, that was a good book. My learner enjoyed that. Uh, this one was one where we were to the point where my learner was reading a few of the chapters silently 
independently and then telling me back what was said in them and then I'm reading it you know sort of skimming it or, or reading ahead so that I know whether or not they truly read the book so we're kind of getting to that point where um, more of it was independent reading uh, then we read Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. Uh, this one is from the Blossom and Root fourth grade language arts curriculum. Um, so like I said, I have curriculum across different things and we're just letting the, the kid pick which book they want to read and we will go from there. Um, so this one has a uh, smaller writing, um, at least in my version, <laughs> a few pictures, but not really a lot of pictures. Um, but we did a lot more um, writing or reading, independent reading. Jeez, can't talk. Uh, my learners did a lot more independent reading in this one. So um, read more of the chapters um, by themselves, reported back to me on what was going on and telling me the details. Um, and I did less reading out loud to them. Um, also enjoyable, um, a couple of these books like The Trumpet of the Swan and Mrs. Frisbee have um, movies. So we might watch those movies now that we've finished the books to just kind of see and compare. Um, I couldn't find the other book that we read, but it was uh, The Mouse and the Motorcycle. Um, and that one was again, sort of an, an easier read. Um, it's a cool little mouse that gets to ride a motorcycle. Um, it was not very thick. And I think we read that between the trumpet of the swan and before we started Mrs. Frisbee. Um, so, um, and that one also matched with the Brave Writer curriculum. Uh, so that's what we've read so far. Um, uh, and as far as language arts, and then we are currently about halfway through The Wild Robot Escapes. Um, this is the second book. The first one was The Wild Robot and we read that one um actually when things first shut down and we were just making stuff up um at home because we didn't have a, a curriculum set um so that was the end of second grade year is when we read and that was just us reading to my learner so this one has been almost exclusively my learner reading the book um by themselves and then telling me about it one of the cool things about this is that the chapters are like usually only a couple of pages each um, because uh, they they divided up. So there's a ton of chapters, <laughs> but each chapter is only a couple of pages. So that's kind of nice, especially for um, independent reading because it feels like you're accomplishing a lot. Um, oh, I got through 10 chapters in like, yeah, like 30 minutes you can get in uh, through 10 chapters. Um, that's awesome. All right, so those are the things that we covered um, through language arts. Um, through history, we are using a combination of um, Blossom and Roots uh, history and um, Woke Homeschooling's history of freedom. Uh, so we have some, um, uh, I don't know what you would call them, historical fictions uh, to go along with the um, uh, the stuff we're learning in history. So the first one we read was Seas Behind Trees. Um, all of these history ones were us reading back and forth, maybe me reading a little bit more. Um, the type is a lot smaller on this one, um, but it wasn't too... Uh, it was an interesting story. Um, this is by the same author who wrote uh, Morning Girl, which is a book that we had read last year. So that was cool because we were kind of familiar with that style, the way that person writes and describes things. Um, so we read Seas Behind Trees. Um, we also read The Game of Silence. Um, this one is much longer. Um, it took us a while. Um, there's a few pictures, but mostly, you know, words. We took turns reading um, back and forth on this one um, until uh, until we were finishing it. And for all of these history ones, um, they go along with 
the parts of the history curriculum that we're reading about that are that are sort of related. Um, and so there's some discussion to um, as we go through like, oh, remember, we learned about this, this is how this person's experiencing it. Um, we read part of this one, uh, Nzinga, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, so we read part of that. And my plan is to go back and finish the rest. Um, it's written as just a, uh, like a diary um, for the first part. And then the second half is uh, the, the fact based, um, what we know and the pictures from, uh, from about that person and about that culture. Um, so that was really interesting and, and timely. Um, and then we just finished uh, The Kidnapped Prince. Um, and this is a true story um, by, again, hoping I'm pronouncing this correctly, um, Olauda Iquiano. Um, but it, and it's a, adapted to be a little bit more um, kid friendly, I guess. Um, but this is uh, from his like autobiography. He was um, captured from his family in Africa and sold into slavery and eventually um, got his freedom and then wrote about it. Um, and then um, right before Thanksgiving, um, we read this one, We Are Still Here, Native American Truths Everyone Should Know. Um, and this one is broken down into like little topics. This one is not uh, a big novel like these other ones, but does still have a lot of details here. Um, about a lot of the terms and a lot of things that happened to the indigenous populations um, and where they are now. So those are the things we've covered in history and in language arts. And like I said, we do still have sort of our, our textbooks, our, our reference material um, for history and for science that we've been reading through. And that's of a variety of books and we jump between chapters and everything like that. Um, this year has been a lot more reading for us in general, um, but that was intentional. We wanted to make sure that we were uh, doing a bit more reading now that my learner has learned to read and can read independently, um, that now we are doing more independent reading and having, uh, you know, the, my learner take a little bit more responsibility for that and complete some of those things. Um, that has also led to us being able to step back and give them a little bit more independence um, and then complete some activities uh, by themselves. And we're checking the work, which I think is about where we should be at fourth grade. So um, let me know uh, what books you have read um, in your homeschool this semester um, and, uh, and how those are going and if you have any recommendations that we should check out as we continue. Thank you so much.